Welcome back everybody. Today I'm back with another product that I saw online that I knew I had to try for myself. This is a smart cutting board and knife set. It has multiple cutting boards for different kinds of foods and matching knives. It also has a drying and sanitation feature. Seems pretty cool, but it's 180 bucks. So let's see if it actually works in today's video. All right, so I unboxed it last night and here's how that went. All right, this is the Charmline smart cutting board and knife set. I paid 180 bucks for this. These are the knives. Here are the cutting boards and the base power cord and minimal instructions. This is not $180 worth of instructions, but I'll read this over. The claims are that it includes four color coded cutting boards and matching knives, each designed for different types of food, it includes a holder that dries and disinfects. People on Amazon who liked it, a lot of people said the knives were well made and a lot of people loved the overall concept. Some people didn't like it. Several people said the boards were all pretty small. Clean this up, read these over, and then get started. A couple more observations. First up, I washed these off last night, dried them, put them in there. I ran through a cycle. It's 60 minutes for drying and 30 minutes for the UV and it does shut off by itself. Each cutting board is a little bit unique. Like for example, this is the fish cutting board. It's got some texture right here in the center. This cutting board has a bread icon, but they say it's for cooked foods and it has kind of these grooves here. The red cutting board, it shows chicken, but they just say it's for meats. And the green cutting board is for fruits and veggies. And there's even a little, it looks like a ginger grater right here on the side. All right, so let's get into trying these cutting boards, see how they work. First up, let's try the veggie cutting board with the veggie knife. I'll move this right out of the way. Let's see how sharp this knife is. Let's try the uh, paper test here. Oh, that seems very sharp. So high hopes already. That bodes well for these tests. Let's see what we got. Let's start off something simple like a green apple. So not only are we looking at the cutting board to see how it holds up, but we're also looking at the knife as well. Now, one thing is this knife isn't very long. It's supposed to be for fruits and veggies, but it barely makes it to the edge of the apple. But we will work around it. All right, well, the knife seems pretty sharp. The cutting board seems like it's sell up so far. Let me try the same thing with a different knife. See what kind of results we get here. Now, this is a much bigger knife. All right, so clearly, I mean, this knife is a bit small for apples, but it was very sharp. Let's keep going, let's try something like a, a cucumber. When I'm done with my tester, we'll take a look at the board itself. I mean, the knife is very, I like the knife. The knife is very sharp. The cutting board seems fine. Try this one. All right, so I mean, I, I prefer this bigger knife again, but this one is very sharp. Try some carrots, keep going. I mean, just as a, a knife cutting board combo, it's working pretty well. What I'm not sure of is if this is gonna actually scratch up. Let me see, did I get scratch marks? Maybe a little, oh, I did get some scratch marks. I got a little bit of scratch marks in there. So I'm not sure that's an issue for you, but it, it is there. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to the next item, but I think so far this one it did pretty well. Next up, I'm gonna do this board, which is supposed to be for cooked food and bread. So let's see what we got as far as that goes. And the accompanying knife. The knife looks pretty nice. And uh, it, this is kind of the Sentoku style knife here. Let's see what we got as far as a paper test goes. Oh, very sharp, very sharp. I like that. Now, one minor issue is that this bread doesn't even fit on the cutting board. And by the way, these cutting boards are not particularly large. It's uh, about 12 and a half by about eight and three quarters. Now, normally I would use something like this serrated bread knife, but let's see, this is the knife they provide. So let's see, it's gonna try cutting it right in half. I mean, it's very sharp. I mean, usually I would use a serrated blade, but it cut through it pretty well, so I have nothing to complain about. The problem is that the, without the serrated uh, edges, it doesn't start as easily, but it does, once it gets started, it cuts very nicely. It's a very sharp knife. I have no complaints about that. The thing with about the bread knife is those serrated edges just cut, just start easier. I will say though, even though the serrated edges start easier, my bread knife isn't as sharp. So this one actually probably worked better. And they say it's also for cooked food. So I've got a basic chicken breast here. Let's, uh, let's see what we've got. All right, this knife is very sharp. I've, I'm very pleased with this knife. In fact, I think I'll probably be using this one. But what I'm not sure about is I think I'm seeing some marks appearing on this board. Again, marks on a cutting board isn't the end of the world, but you know, how susceptible is it to them? That's another question. All right, we do have some scratches, but to me, that's not a big deal, but some people might be interested in that. So there's your answer. Let's move on to the meat cutting board and accompanying knife. I think this is more designed for raw meats. Paper test. 
very sharp. So far, I'm finding these knives to be pretty sharp. The person on the line that said they weren't, maybe they got a different batch than I did, but these, they seem pretty good to me. So I got this rather large raw chicken breast here. I'm gonna try cutting this up a little bit on this particular cutting board and see what happens. Certainly, the, the, there are certainly better knives out there, but it gets the job done. It seems pretty sharp. I thought this actually uh, cut pretty well. And finally, we've got the fish cutting board and the corresponding knife. Paper test once again. Once again, it seems quite sharp. All right, now here's one problem with the size. I mean, you can see the salmon's hanging over both sides. So, so let, me, uh, let me cut this up a little bit and see what we got here. And it is sharp enough to cut through there. That's good. Really only about two passes to make it all the way through. So it's pretty good. All right, so I think it worked pretty well as far as the performance goes, but now we have some other issues to consider. I have all these dirty cutting boards, all these dirty knives. Now this is supposed to be a dryer and a sanitizer, but you still have to clean them off and dry them to some extent before you put them in there, per the instructions. If you already have to wash them and dry them, do you need to put them into another dryer? Uh, maybe, I guess it gets the residual moisture off there. I don't know. I'm gonna go wash them off and then take a look inside here before we put them back in there. I'm gonna turn these lights off and take a peek inside. Now to activate the UV, you press this twice, one, two. Blue means UV, so let's take a look inside and see what we got. I look at inside there, I see one UV light on that side. Oh, I see one on that side as well. They're very dim. I'm not sure how effective that would be as dim as they are. In fact, the brightest light in there is the indicator light, which isn't doing anything. So I'm, I don't, I'm not sure how effective that UV light's gonna be. I really don't see much light in there at all. That's, that's pretty dim. All right, so I washed them off. I semi-dried them. I, I wanna leave a little bit of moisture on there to see if the drying feature works. So let's put everything back in here, turn on the drying feature and see what happens. Now that entire cycle lasts 90 minutes, 60 minutes for drying, 30 minutes for sanitizing. So I'll come back in an hour and a half and see how they look. All right, so I try to leave a little bit of moisture here and there just to see what happens. And the knives are even wetter than that, so that's also on purpose. I think that's the right order. I didn't really mark it down. I, th I think it's right. All right, so I'm gonna press the button once. That begins a 90 minute drying and sanitizing cycle. I'll come back when it's over and see how it looks. All right, so taking a look, it looks like everything dried. So everything is dry in here. I'm just taking a look. There might be a couple of water spots in the, here and there, but I do think that it is drier than when I put it in there. So let's recap here, and I kind of have mixed feelings about this one. The cutting boards are kind of small, but the overall unit is kind of large, but it does look nice. And I do really like the idea of having matching boards and knives to different kinds of foods. I thought all the knives and boards were pretty good quality, although it still seems kind of overpriced, even though it's supposed to be a high-tech product. Now you're supposed to rinse and dry all the boards before you put them in there. So is the drying part even necessary? And the UV lights are so small and dim, I'm wondering how effective those are at all. But I do think that most people who buy this will probably like it as long as you don't mind the price, the small cutting boards, or the overall large size of the unit. But if you've tried this or something like it, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.